eventually I got a witness to come forward with information that implicated someone other than Sammy Robinson. A woman who lived near Robinson's place saw Sal Marcano and his son Georgie leaving the bar the night of the killings. I tried to bring Sal in for questioning, but all my efforts were blocked by a Judge Holden, who we now know was on the take. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. Yeah, I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people, a new breed of mobster, a prototype for criminals to come. He, someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten, erased. But I also understand that Lincoln had a significant impact on the Italian mob in this city. He did what the Bureau wouldn't or couldn't do. He finished them. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean it's gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I take care of you and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs>
forgot your wallet in my office. Shit. Check the other side. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. this fucking heat. You all right? right here. So, what'd you hear about what happened with Pops over at the garage? Oh, this city. It's spinning out of control. All on account of one crazy nigga. I heard it was a whole fucking army of them. Black powered up and shit. A whole army? Son? If there was a whole army of pissed off Chicago niggas going through this town, itself, we'd been dead long before now. Is in gear. Challenges rank to a race for pink slips, but the asshole turns pussy, doesn't show. And that's his car? Nah, that's the car Mr. Pagani bought after he ran that piece of shit over with his other one. Are you serious? Wayne's meat tires. <laughs> what a fucking mess. All right, I better get back in there. You gonna be okay? Uh, sure. Well, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> right? It could be the reason Frank has to get a new car. <laughs> I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later.
used to be a life of gig. My daddy, my uncles. Sure, they saw some action, Looks like but the place. they always came out whole. What's your point, kid? This feels like I missed out on the best times. The golden age. Don't fool yourself. Golden age still got a lot of folks dead. One way huh? or another. <laughs> Ain't worth our time. Quit daydreaming and find that cunt. Shit. Check the other side. It's only a matter of time till I find you. We got ourselves that book of mine. Come get me, boy. I never did anything to you. Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen. What you saw, Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew, on account of the robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Mulcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. There you are. Pull up a seat, let's get cracking. I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. The district's locked down just as you asked. Me and my boys are just waiting for your word to make ourselves comfortable. You got a plan for this territory, right? That's the only reason I can think of why you wouldn't call me. We're on a good run here, Lincoln. I see no reason anything should change. Now. Not using my guys to lock down a district makes it real fucking messy if you want us to run shit, but hell, you pay me to clean up the mess. Well, this is all said and done. Think about who you want standing at your back. This one's all you, Bert. You're a goddamn genius, lad. 
Maybe you haven't figured this out, but patience ain't exactly one of my strong suits. Especially when you smack me across the face with your lies. Better luck next time, I guess. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The 90. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. <laughs>